All right, Shalom. <clears throat> Before I start, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakurash, the wanders to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all elect Akim, Wa Akwath, learning, teaching, and truth and sincerity. Another video through the Spirit, Brother Malak from GMS Detroit. Hey, we're going to take a look at this whole ass nigga, man. <laughs> Anton Daniels, man. Hey, I used to be a fan, but it looks like, uh, you know, hey, y'all, this word that's why hey, the scriptures say, uh, this word, you know, this either, you know, this is the stone that falls on you or grinds you to dust, or the stumbling block a nigga trick over, uh, trips over, right? Either you're of the elect and you're gonna get it and do right by it, or you're one of the wicked and you're gonna be offended by it. And you see the Anton Daniels at the top left. I'm going to let him talk. It's five minutes of him talking smack. Now, he's one of these, you know, money-getting, relationship-talking, you know, type niggas. You know, let's just compare him to Kevin Samuels, right? That He's on that type of deal. But he stays out here in Detroit. Now, as far as I know, he ain't never crossed us here at Great Millstone, Detroit. But apparently, he has had interactions with WFI and maybe knows a member of them or so, as he's going to state in the video so he's he's ba basing these assumptions off of them. Now, granted, some of the things they do are wild. Some of them, you know, the women should not be out there at the camp. Children should not be out there at the camp. But what this man is going to do, he's going to judge the Israelites based off the fact, you know, oh, we all look, we look like bums. We got our garments on. We look like bums. We against the white man, but we use his equipment or whatnot. And, you know, we not getting no money. We making the city worse. You know, we not doing nothing for black people. Y'all, this whole, our people of the world, they have a heavy respecter of, uh, respect the person's spirit, and they commend those with money. And the script sheet, here it is, you bitch ass niggas, that money isn't going to save you when the society collapses. And make no doubt about it, this shit is about to collapse. Um, let's start with this, y'all. Now, us here at Great Millstone, we have jobs. And we tell brothers, that, uh, either you get a job or you're going to have to go on somewhere. Um, nevertheless, we are not trying to climb to the heights of society because we know that society is going to collapse. Are some of us more well off financially than others? Yeah. Nevertheless, ultimately, your financial bracket does not determine the caliber of the man. So let's keep that a buck. The Messiah himself wasn't running around rich. John the Baptist wasn't running around rich. Many of the prophets wasn't running around rich. Okay? Money is not the end all be all. John 7 24. Judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgment. So that's what you base a man off of their righteousness, not off of their sneakers or their clothes. Now, you know, hey, is that an excuse for us to be out here stinking and musty and raggedy? A oh, fucking of course not. Brothers, take care of yourself. Nevertheless, Yahweh Shai, hey, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh and His Son, Yahweh Shai, they're looking on the inward man. And our people in the world, they don't look on the inward man. Sirach 11 and 2, commend not a man for his beauty, neither a poor man for his outward appearance. The bee is little among such as fly. But her fruit is the chief of sweet things. Boast not of thy clothing and raiment, and exalt not thyself in the day of honor. For the works of the Lord are wonderful, and his works among men are hidden. So right there, y'all, hey, we're not boasting in the carnality. We're not boasting in trying to drive a Porsche, as he's going to go on to say. We're not out here trying to make tens, of hundreds of thousands of dollars, or millions of dollars. To... No amount of money can fix our people. No amount of money is going to stop a cop from blowing you away no amount of money is going to fix the fact that our women are insane and have been brainwashed by the media no amount of money is going to fix that our children have been influenced to be homicidal demons we need the lord to fix us that's what's important the inward man the spirit not money nigga Let's pick one what you gonna serve the heavenly father or money and we see who this nigga's serving Yo, airline get more crooked Yo, teeth get dirtier. Have y'all ever seen some of these Hebrew Israelites? Come on, listen, man. I don't give a fuck about what y'all talking about. I'm just going to keep it real. Have y'all ever seen some of these Hebrew Israelites? When I drive down the street, right? And I jump in a Porsche. <laughs> let me, let me stop. Like I said, he's he's describing WFI 
from the way he's talking, some of the guys is going to go on and describe. He ain't came and stopped at us at Great Millstone because we're going to get off of we uh, nigga. We'll, we'll get off in you and shut this bullshit down. For a minute. And I jump and I drive down the street. And I put on some of the worst things for me, so I'm always listening to the the, the, the most ratchet music sometimes. And I either throw on some Larry June or some PZ or I might throw on a little bit of Nipsey Hustle. I might even throw on some Dolph. You know what I'm saying? And I'm riding down the street. And I look at these motherfuckers and they got on their fringes, right? Their fringes be at the bottom of their dashikis or whatever the hell you call it that they ordered straight from China or the white man or some cotton mill that they say that they divested from and they get they, they, all of their little stuff from Amazon and they... So you see he's making fun of us. And the scriptures tell you tell us that we'd be in this lowly apparel, prophesying in sackcloth. We're not out here... Oh, I'm at the that one... Uh, yeah, yeah. They do their little iron on shirts and shit like that. And I see they some of their little girlfriends or some of their little chicks that's sitting on the side, that's in their little lawn chairs that they bought from Walmart. That also and that's why I say he's talking about WFI because WFI do that further down the street from us. You know, having their women out sitting in those chairs, which they're not supposed to be bringing women out to the battle uh, to where we go out and prophesy. But you see, he's making fun of all of us nevertheless. Because, you know, in his eyes, we're bums because we're not rolling a Porsche. Lee continues to enrich the Walton family that they say that they so much against. And I look at them, right? And they chicks is looking real homely and they dusty and they dirty. You know what I'm saying? And if you walk past some of them and they speak too close to you, they breath be stinking. And I'm telling you, listen, this is my real life experience. Don't you try to... Don't you try to discount what my experience is. I know what my experience is. I experienced some motherfuckers like y'all over in Miami. Yeah, we was over in Miami. I experienced y'all in Detroit. I seen y'all on the corners bothering people, trying to get people's attention when we was trying to continue to put the city on the map so that we can help people understand how the city is trans. Fuck the city, nigga. Fuck Detroit, nigga. Detroit's gonna be destroyed. Yo ass was a slave in Detroit. Gross Point Farms... And Gross Point was uh, slaves, you idiot. Ain't nothing of America here. There, there's nothing here for us to be proud of. You damn clown. You effeminate nigga. You might got all that money, but your stomach stick out past your feet. Bitch, you can't get out and give me 50. You can't hit no quick uh, 40 yard dash. The scriptures say health is. Uh, in Detroit from being someone. Now, hold up, y'all. This is hey. Which one you going to serve, man? We dusties, we broke. Who are you going to serve, the Lord or the world? The Lord or Satan? And we see who this nigga's master is. Matthew 6 and 24, no man can serve two masters. For either he will hate the one and love the other, or else hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve Yahweh and Mammon. We see that this man serves the flesh, he serves the money God. That's what he worships. That's his God. That's his idol. That's his standard. Now, what are you going to do when the money collapses? When there is no more money? Because the scriptures tell you that the economy is going to fail. All right. In plenty, plenty of places. Zephaniah 1 and 11. Uh, yep, it says, how ye inhabitants of Maktesh. For all the merchant people are cut down. All they that bear silver are cut off. Okay? Commerce will be finished, Anton. And what will you do, nigga? Because you're not in shape. You, gonna, you and you are going to be an easy target. Since you flash and flaunt what you have, you think motherfuckers ain't watching you, nigga? When this shit goes down, some of them same bums... That you look down upon going to come head hunting for you. That money isn't going to be able to save you. That's why we're not uh, uh, saying money is not the pinnacle of our existence. All right. We be content with our daily bread. Say hey, certain brothers, you know, live decent. Some brothers got to have home ownership. Some brothers got a nice little whip. Right. Some of us don't. Some of us is eternal renters. Some of us have roommates nevertheless what's important this word this work 
That's what's going to get us saved, not finances. Ezekiel 7 and 19, they shall cast their silver in the streets and their gold shall be removed. Their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of the wrath of the Lord. They shall not satisfy their souls, neither fill their bowels, because it is the stumbling block of their iniquity. Okay? All commerce will fail. What will you do when commerce fails? You're going to fall. That's what you're going to do. That's what you're going to do. So you trust in money. We're going to trust in Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. We're going to see who wins. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust doth corrupt, where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt and where thieves do not break through and steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. So we see what your treasure is. The worst cities in the world. To one of the biggest come up stories your, of ever. Y'all was over there making it difficult. Your treasure is Burning the incense come on. and sage. And y'all was over there putting smoke. His treasure is the money, okay? The finances. Look and fly, okay? Is it, is it a crime to take care of yourself? No. Is it a crime to make some decent money? No. But you obviously have an obsession with wealth, which many niggas do because we come from slavery. And you don't have the, you don't have the courage to have a little bit lower standard of life for faith and for the ministry straight. That's why you all about money, nigga. You don't have the spiritual courage to forego it, to say, you know what, fuck it. I know the Lord is going to give it to me on the other side. So you're really a little man, da uh, Mr. Anton Daniels. You're a little man. You're little on the inside. That's why you run to that money for your succor. In the area, y'all had y'all fucking fringes on and y'all chicks was looking dusty as fuck, right? And so I'm looking at these women and the women's breath stink. The kids is dirty and nasty. They ain't got no jobs. I be wondering to myself, if y'all are the chosen people and y'all so awesome, how come we don't know y'all by y'all fruit? Why are y'all so dusty? Yep, we was over in Miami. I experienced y'all in Detroit. I seen y'all on the corners bothering people, trying to get people's attention when we was trying to continue to put the city on the map so that we can help people understand how the city is transitioning in Detroit from being some one of the worst cities in the world to one of the biggest come up stories of ever. Y'all was over there making it difficult burning incense and sage and y'all was over there putting smoke in the air and y'all had y'all fucking fringes on and y'all chicks was looking dusty as fuck right and so i'm looking at these women and the women's breath stink the kids is dirty and nasty they ain't got no jobs i be wondering to myself if y'all are the chosen people and y'all so awesome how come we don't know y'all by y'all fruit why are y'all so dusty i have never in my entire life not one time and maybe I'm just off. Educate me. Help me to understand. I've never one time in my entire life seen a rich, prosperous, well put together, nicely groomed Hebrew Israelite. Oh, Anton is calling out. Oh, Anton is saying what's really on my mind. I'm just curious. I have never in my entire life. This is why the Lord is going to destroy many of our yes, people. <clears throat> they do be this is why the Lord is going to destroy many of our people, y'all. Our people. And this this sentiment is told to us in the scriptures. They already know. Hey, I'm going to go to that one scripture in Matthew because Yahweh Shai said it, you know. Those with soft apparel are in king's houses, y'all. And here it is. If we was out there on that, if we was out there all dressed up like that, then what would you niggas say? Oh, y'all niggas is scams and fries. How y'all out there looking like that, preaching the word? Uh, y'all niggas. So we, we can't win either way. Because if we was out there actually all dressed like that, all super fancy, you would call us scams and frauds. Like, you know, the other, the rest of the, you know, the black churches of the world. No, the Lord made us rough and rugged so we could handle you bitch ass niggas. That's why we tough and we rough and tough. So we can get equal right with you, bitch ass niggas. All right, as the scriptures say, make their faces hard, make your face hard against their faces. As an adamant, harder than stone have I made thy forehead. Just for you slick talking bitch ass niggas. You niggas is gonna fucking burn when this shit goes down, man. If we're all bums, how do we make it out there uh, week after week? If we're an abject, if we're just straight up purely poor. <laughs> you know, $24,000 a year. 
Come on, man. Be fucking real. Now, are we are we balling out of control? All of us? No, of course not. But we make our daily bread, and that's all that matters. And take care of ours. Even though, you know, he's mainly directing this energy at WFI. You know, he's... Bitch, you an Israelite too, you stupid nigga. We are the chosen people. But the scripture said we'd be in this low position. And so, like you said, correct me if I'm wrong. Well, you are wrong. You are ignorant. You are incorrect. And for your infidelity, you will die. There is no if, ands, or buts about it. You're going to pay for these words, Mr. Anton. You're going to fucking eat these words. I'm hoping this nigga, boy, I hope he comes by us now. Now I got some words for you. And we're going to go into the scripture. We ain't going to be no shouting fest. We're going to go script. We're going to explain to you in these scriptures. And then when you ultimately buck up and you still don't get it, we're going to say, fuck you. And go down the street. And guess what you're going to do? Eventually, you're going to go down the fucking street. Like they all do. You living off they woman. They woman be the main bread makers. And these dudes be dusty, dirty, nasty. I know some of them personally. And they be out there with their Bibles. Preaching. Teaching. Being false prophets. And having their fringes on. And bothering good working folk that's going to work every single day. Trying to take care of business. I be wondering to myself, how are y'all so able to work to recruit so well? How is it possible that y'all can recruit so effectively? What is enticing about seeing a bunch of broke dudes on the street, can't even claim the very houses that they live in? Woman is absolutely under duress. She pregnant and working at the same time. You don't even got a job. And the main thing that they go home to is they PlayStation 5. And I'll be like, how is this possible? How do y'all... So he's hitting us with the stereotypical, you know, shit. Um, let me get this real quick, y'all. This guy, y'all, these people, man. Let me get this. It was biblical prophecy that many of us, especially the prophets, are going to be... Are going to come off and look destitute, look poor. But although you may think we're poor, we're really rich. So it's all good. You can enjoy your consolation on this side. You have the cool car. You have the pricey life. Eating the fancy foods. Abominations, I might add. You fat. You <laughs> you overweight male. You're supposed to. I'm going to have to get that too. Hey, the scriptures say health in good state of body is above uh, wealth. And a strong body. Uh, no, it's a health in good state of body is above riches and was uh, 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 infinite. Uh, uh, a strong body is above infinite wealth. I can tell from looking at you, you did, you are not on the level a man's supposed to be on. We could run circles around you. I could run circles around you. So what here it is? What's the point of having all that money? You can't you can't even you can't even get out here and swim a half mile if your life depended on it. You couldn't jog for your life if your life depended on it. You couldn't hit that fence to get away from that put bull if your life depended on it. You damn fool. Matthew 11 and 7. And as they departed, Yahushua began to say unto the multitudes concerning John, What? Uh, what went ye out to see into the wilderness? Uh, what went ye out into the wilderness to see? A reed shaken with the wind? But what went ye out for to see? A man clothed in soft raiment? Behold, they that wear soft clothing are in king's houses. All right? We're not, we're not out there in designer gear looking fresh to death. We're out there to preach. So we gonna look rough. We gonna hey, we gonna have uh, you know tells you that revelation. Uh, uh, we're preaching in sackcloth, meaning what? We're prophesying. We're not in top tier apparel. Revelation, um, the eleventh chapter. Okay. Rather than making fun of us, why not actually sit there and listen to the word? But you're not gonna do that because you're a nigga. All right, verse nine. But what wouldn't you out to see? A prophet? Yeah, I say unto you. And more than a prophet, okay? Hey, and you know, he he said uh, false. Now, WFI, you know, their leader is a false prophet. But us, the Hebrews in general, we're not, hey, over here at Great Millstone, we have the truth. Being poor doesn't make us false prophets. Or being, not being mega, mega millionaires doesn't make us false prophets. Hey, dudes like this, y'all, you know, little, hey, little shit like this, it just gets under my skin a little bit. But it's good, y'all, because we're going to win. We've won at the end. We're rich. Luke 6 and 24, but woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received your consolation. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. So 
that guy he has all the delicacies of this world now well when this shit when society collapses he isn't going to have any of them nor does he have the ability to survive without them and most importantly he's not going to have the holy spirit keeping him safe because that's what's going to set us apart we're not survival expert uh, specialists but guess what since we've made ourselves a living sacrifice now since we've debased ourselves and lowered our standard of living so that we have more time for prophecy in this ministry therefore the holy spirit will keep us safe in these times to come while niggas like this are going to be deceased okay we are rich through yahweh bashim yahweh shai we not poor in the slightest so fuck what this nigga talking about y'all <laughs> matthew 19 and 23 then said yahweh shai unto his disciples verily i say unto you that a rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom of heaven. Anton, you're going to have to die before you make it, nigga. So much time to study. You're so fixated on that money, you don't have a proper spirit about yourself. Maliciously slandering, uh, 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 you know, the Hebrews without even taking account the actual message, you idiot. We're preaching to our people who they are, what to do. How to survive what's coming. To turn from the evil of the world. And you running your black mouth. Y'all ain't got no jobs. And if they got a job, they're not really educated. They don't really know how to do anything except for bother people. And they keep blowing smoke in the air. And they got on all of this fake plastic jewelry. And they be trying to look all extra Caesarish and shit like that. And I be like, man, you see that, you see that costume jewelry he got on? Don't you know that he got that from Amazon and Sheen? He got on the Sheen jewelry, the Sheen jewelry set. And then, and then I seen one guy, and I guess that was a leader. He had on a WWF belt. It looked just like a WWF belt. <laughs> Look, man, I'm trying to tell you. And so he's making fun of, you know, somebody probably was dressing, dressing a little bit goofy. Hey, but the scriptures in Revelation tells you that Yahweh Shai had a girdle on about the past. Uh, you know, hey, in Daniel too. So he's making fun of our ancient custom uh, apparel, y'all. He's used to dressing like a like a, a metrosexual American. <laughs> right? Try by these Hebrew Israelites sometimes. Pay attention. Look at the context clues. I have a bad habit of looking at the context clues. He had on look what looked like a WWF belt, and it was big and gold. And I seen the Ultimate Warrior wearing that same fucking belt. And I said, who did he steal that from? Who made this man a WWE belt? Who? Hoppo. Who this nigga? Who is him? Who is him? Where him come from, Hoppo? But y'all follow him. And y'all want so hard and so fervently. Oh my God, I gotta pray for my people. I gotta pray fervently for y'all because y'all wanna believe so badly in something that you will then align yourself with somebody just based off of shit that they can't even control. You aligning yourself with somebody based off of the color of their skin and a standard that somebody gave to you or whether or not you was 10% black. And that's how y'all decide whether or not y'all gonna rock with somebody. It ain't got nothing to do with whether or not they a good person, whether they stand on anything, what their morals and principles and values are. You so, yeah, he's he's gonna he's gonna get his issue. You know, you are gonna get your issue, Anton. You should have kept your mouth. Hey, and but you know, what? hey, the Lord does this every so. You know, these guys. You know, Charleston White did it. Every, you know, here it is. There'll be some new speaker in the so-called black community. He's making good points, and then all of a sudden he comes up and talks shit against us. Dr. Umar, right? The Lord said, y'all are all marked. You're all marked, and you're all going to uh, you're all going to suffer because you all saw the word. You had the opportunity to listen, to change, to hearken, but you chose to scoff for various reasons. And we're seeing that this guy, his reason is because we look poor. But here it is. Hey. We may appear poor on the outside, but we are rich. We have this word, you damn fool. We are spiritually rich. We are going to inherit the benefits of the kingdom first as the elect, while you, sir, are going to have to die and to wait to be uh, reborn. Uh, 
Let me see. Right here. This is what we're rich in. Perfect. James 2 and 5. Hearken, my beloved brethren. Hath not Yahweh chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, and heirs of the kingdom, which he hath promised to them that love him? But ye have despised the poor. Do not rich men oppress you and draw you before the judgment seats? Do not, do not they blaspheme the worthy name by the which ye are called? So here it is. You making fun of us. We poor. You stupid nigga. We all just got the fuck out of slavery. You acting like the white man. Your enemy. Do you acknowledge that? You acting like a goddamn, you acting like the fucking white man towards us. Because Massa lets you get a little bit of some. And don't get it confused. Just because you may be your own businessman, all that bullshit. Massa's letting you do that. Because at any time, at any point in time, they could say, you know what, fuck you. Tax fraud and evasion. You going to jail for the rest of your life. And you couldn't do shit about it. All right. Yahweh has chosen the poor of this world is elect because we are the downtrodden. Although we may be poor, what appears to be on the outside, we are rich spiritually because we have this understanding and this truth. And we will go on to be the rulers of the world to come while niggas like you is going to have to wait to be reborn. All right. So that's about it, y'all. This nigga smart. I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, or Kakurash, the waters, the elders and apostles, great millstone, peace, blessings. And salutations to all the Akim, Wa Akwath, learning, teaching, and truth and sincerity. Shalom.